Hello everybody, we're here at the Husky Herald uh, interviewing ASUWB, your student government. I've got uh, the president here, Johnny Tico, with me. And we're just going to do a little bit of chat and reflect on how the last year went. So welcome, Johnny. Thank you for having me. For being here today. Um, so what would you say is your proudest achievement during your time here serving at ASUWB and what have you gained from that position? Great question. Um, my proudest achievement, I don't know if should look at you. So my proudest achievement this year has been um, two, actually. One of them has been working with UW Seattle and UW Tacoma students and kind of joining forces in Olympia and um, with politics and uh, not, so with politics and things like that. That has been really something that's never happened before. And this year, we've had an event where 300 students from Seattle, Tacoma, and Bothell came together and went to Olympia. And that was a huge effort um, on all three campuses. And to have, actually have that happen was really exciting for us. And the second thing is, when I first decided I was going to run, I knew I wanted to be involved in the Board of Regents uh, level, ne not necessarily uh, putting my opinion every day, because you can't do that but having present, having you to Bothell present. So one of my ways of doing that was by attending every Board of Regents meeting. But at the March meeting, I actually ended up presenting, and that was a long process of going through who do you talk to to present, and how much time do you have, and what are you going to talk about. So that was really, really exciting. Cool. What did you end up presenting on? I ended up presenting about our experiences as Bothell students at the Board of Regents level. Seattle is so big that a lot of topics on there are focused on Seattle and growth and development. And the Bothell campus and Tacoma campuses have a lot to do, but our situations are not exactly the same as, as Seattle. So, um, for example, classroom sizes in Seattle are increasing, but at Bothell, our classes, classes are increasing, so our professors are, are doing creative things to make sure the quality of education is the same. But that's not the same thing that Seattle professors are doing. So highlighting that um, was a big part of it. And I had Professor Thomas with me present. Fantastic. So it sounds like you've got uh, gotten a lot done in this, like, what is it, eight, nine months or yeah. so. Um, is there anything, you know, on the other side, was there anything that you really would have liked to <laughs> been able to do but didn't have the resources or just not enough time to, to get it finished? Looking back on it, I wish I would have educate, educated students more on the Board of Regents. As president, one of my goals, or in our bylaws, I am required to attend the Board of Regents meetings. But I, students on our campus don't necessarily know, A, the Board of Regents, what they do, the student region. And I wish I would have um, had more time or more resources to educate students on the Board of Regents and on the student region, who this year has been golden. Um, but I hope that next year's team takes that and runs with it. Great. So would you say, um, maybe going off that, or maybe if there's anything else, if you had to redo this, if you could, if you could get them all again, would you take it? And if there, w would there be anything that you would change? Absolutely, I would take it. This year has been uh, so challenging and rewarding at the same time. And the one thing that I, if I had to do it over again, I would prioritize my time carefully. So I started out in September and I was working in student government and I had another job and taking a full-time load busy, huh? and it was really busy. It was a lot to do all, the same, all at the same time. So looking back on it now, I wish I would have prioritized my time more to, and I ended up um, leaving my other job because okay. I couldn't do all three things at once. So prioritizing things and having fun <laughs> mixed in there because yeah, sometimes you get yeah, lost in there. Cool. Um, so, going going even further with that, um, what would you say uh, future members could do to kind of improve that interaction? You said you wanted to mm -hmm. let them know a little bit more about the regions. Right. How would they go about doing that? Well, I'm sure you know. I believe that um, I think that's the key question that every organization wants to know. How do you involve members more? Um, and one of the things that we've done this year is Husky huddles and talking to students randomly, stopping them in the halls or in classrooms. But I think it's word of mouth and one-on-one -on -one interaction with students. Um, sometimes you get, I know for me it's intimidating to go up to a student I don't know and say, hey, I'm Jenny, you're a student body president. And they're like, okay, good to know. But so why give them an incentive to talk to you or there, there should be a reason that they benefit from when talking to you. So um, outlining what your goal is and then going out and 
pursuing that as well. Great. Um, so, what would you say that necessary skills are? Give me, give me three. Like, you've got to have these in order to be successful in this position. Absolutely. So, you have to be passionate about this university. We're in our growing stages, so there's a lot of changes. There's, uh, we're still trying to figure out the University of Washington system and University of Washington Bothell and where we fit. And you have to be passionate about the University of Washington and the University of Washington Bothell. Um, passion is absolutely number one. Second is you have to be somewhat organized. I know if you go into my office, you'll see my desk and it's not organized, but you have to have like a mental calendar or you will have meetings. Sometimes you'll have meetings from eight to four the whole day, one after the other, and you have to know uh, where you're going, who you're meeting with, so, so you show that, that you care and you're responsible and you're doing this, you're actually doing something. That's really important. And the third is you have to have fun with it. Sometimes it can get stressful and you get caught up in the moment and trying to work through everything, but taking a step back and realizing that I'm doing, why am I doing this is really important. So being grounded is another really important. So you just have to keep reminding yourself keep reminding that, yourself what, that you're doing what are you doing? Yeah, why are you doing this? Um, what is it, you know, I sometimes think about what is it like to be a normal student who just goes to class and does homework for hours and then goes out and has fun and has it and then I think about I what am I doing here oh that's right I have all these things going on and I love it and I don't I would have never I wouldn't change it for the world but it's really important to know why you're doing this cool um, so lastly just last question I've got is uh, any advice that you can give directly to um, future ASUW B members maybe if it's next year or years beyond or what what would you want them to know I would want them to know that this is not easy, but so rewarding at the same at the same time. Um, there's so many things that that you're involved in that are there's so much benefit involved in it. Um, not only personal growth, which I've experienced, um, but there's just so many things you get to build relationships with not only faculty and staff but administration as well, they get to know you on a personal level, so you have that benefit of it as well. But you are a student and you're serving your university that you love, and that's a benefit. So, that's great, um, that's key. Yeah, and it's really exciting. It, even though, and I go back to, even though when things get a little crazy and unexpected, and there's no one day that's the same in, this, in my position, I don't know of a single day that I've done, sat there and said, what am I doing? Like, there's always something that needs to be done. So you got to keep up with that and just enjoy the ride. Cool. All right. Well, um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, again, my name is Sam Shoup. This is Jenny Dico, your current um, ASUWB president. We'll be doing a whole bunch of elections coverage, so stay tuned. Great.